Before I show you how to bench test this coil, let me show you what not to do. These coils are meant to be used in brief pulses. As you can see, this micro switch right here, I used it to uh, create a brief pulse of electricity. But I accidentally walked away, the micro switch fell down on the table and gave the coil constant power. When I went to lift up the coil, it burnt my hand. This is a hot glue stick right here. The coil's so hot right now, it's actually melting this hot glue stick. So even though there's a negative and positive on the top of this coil, it's very imperative that you do not hook it to direct DC 12 volt power. Um, you need to be able to pulse the negative. Um, when you hook it to direct power, it's pretty much a dead short and it gets extremely hot. You can see it melting this glue stick. I... 10 minutes later, the coil has cooled down and I'm ready to test it. I'm simply hooking a positive wire on this battery to the positive sign on the top of the coil and a negative wire from this battery I hook to a switch, which I then hook to the negative side of this coil. Every time I press this switch, I'll be able to create a spark simulating the spark plug. This test light that I hooked, just hooked up to the negative, I'll be putting down on the output of the coil, and every time I touch my switch up here, I'll be creating a spark. Um, due to the camera angle, you're not going to be able to see it, but you'll see I'm holding the test light, and you've got to get a gap, uh, just like a spark plug. You don't want to just touch the carpet, you want to create a gap. And I'm touching this micro switch, and every time I touch it, there is a spark shooting in this coil. Let me change the camera angle for you. I've laid the coil on its side so that you can also see the spark that I've been talking about this whole time. I hate when people do videos and you can't see what they're talking about. The gap that I'm putting in here between my uh, tester and this copper output on this coil is pretty critical. Um, if I gap it too far, it'll do nothing. If I gap it too close, it'll just go straight into it. You want to have a little bit of an air gap so you can see the spark. This coil is functioning perfectly, so my problem must be somewhere else.